extinction. Extinction is second cross light property of minerals. And anisotropic mineral grain is an an anisotropic mineral grain or crystal is said to be in position of extinction when it becomes dark in cross light or in cross nickel. It means that when a mineral becomes dark in cross light, then it is said to be in position of extinction. Why a eh, why extinction occurs? It extinction occurs when vibration direction of both microscope and mineral is parallel to one another. Extinction or mineral becomes dark when even the vibration direction of mineral becomes parallel to the vibration direction of microscope. And process of extinction then occurs. Extinction repeats itself after every 90 degree rotation of space. So in one complete rotation, four extinction positions are produced. As you can observe in this diagram, this is a mineral grain. Now when we rotate the stage, it becomes dark. It is now in position of extinction. This position of extinction is repeated after every 90 degree rotation. You can observe that. Extinction repeats itself after every 90 degree rotation. So in one complete rotation, extinction repeats itself four times. And remember that extinction is possessed only by anisotropic minerals. Glass, isotropic, isotropic minerals, liquid and gases don't have any phenomena of extinction. They remain or they stay black in all orientation. Extinction angle. What is extinction angle? The angle between mineral and vertical class here in extinction position is termed as extinction angle. The angle between mineral grain and vertical class here is termed as extinction angle. Suppose this is a mineral grain in an extinction position. So the angle It is made by this mineral grain with the vertical cross hair. This angle is then called as extinction angle. Now types of extinction. There are various types of extinction on the basis of crystallographic features. By crystallographic features, we mean cleavages and crane boundaries. First type is parallel extinction. When crystallographic features are parallel to cross hair in extinction position, such extinction is called as parallel extinction. Orthopyroxene, tourmaline, and muscovite are few of those minerals which possess parallel extinction. You can observe here in this diagram these lines represent cleavages within the, within the mineral grain. When we rotate the stage, and here in second diagram, you can observe that mineral has become dark. Now it is in extinction position. And you can observe that the crystallographic features are cleavages and boundaries are parallel to the cross hair. Such extinction in which crystallographic features are parallel to cross hair, then such extinction is called as parallel extinction. What is inclined or oblique extinction? When crystallographic features are not parallel to two cross hairs, Making they make an angle with them in extinction position, such extinction is called as oblique or inclined extinction. Clinopyroxene is one of the minerals which possess oblique or inclined extinction. You can observe here, crystallographic features are parallel to cross hairs, but mineral is not in position of extinction. When we rotate the stage, here you can observe it has become dark. But in extinction position, crystallographic features are not parallel to the cross hair. And then such extinction in which crystallographic features are not parallel to, to cross hair is termed as inclined or oblique extinction. Here you can observe the orthopyroxene grain in plain polarized light. You can see the lines. These represent cleavages present within the orthopyroxene. These cleavages are parallel to the cross hair. 
here you can observe after insertion of upper polarizer converting plain light to the cross light you can see that now grain has become dark we have not rotated the space we have only inserted the upper polarizer so you can observe that as now in a central position grains are um, crystallographic features are parallel to the cross hairs and such extension means crystallographic features are parallel to the cross hairs is termed as parallel extension now clinopyrazine clinopyrazine is a mineral which possesses implied extension you can observe here the lines present within the clinopyrazine are parallel to the cross hair but it is not in position of extension now when we rotate the stage you can observe here clinopyrazine has become dark but the crystallographic features are no more parallel to the cross hair so when in extinction crystallographic features are not parallel to the cross hair we make an angle with the cross hair then such extinction in then term as inclined extinction symmetrical extinction extinction in which diagonals of rhombic pattern formed by intersection of fluid faces are crystals that are parallel to vibration direction of microscope then such extinction is called as symmetrical extinction here you can observe in this diagram you can observe that rhombic pattern is formed by the crystals or cleavages of the mineral now if in extinction position the diagonals of this rhombic pattern becomes dark then such extinction is termed as symmetrical extinction why the diagonals of rhombic pattern become dark because now diagonals are parallel to the vibration direction of microscope and symmetrical extinction appears almost in the form of net symmetrical extinction is possessed by by mineral calcite calcite is one of those minerals which possess symmetrical extinction baby and the lows are pepi are pechi extinction it is these are the same name for same extinction it is called sometimes wavy extinction or andalous extinction or pechi extinction or it is also called as undulatory extinction sometimes when grains have been stirred the grains will have pechi extinction of pechi style of extinction sometimes when grains are deformed they are strained stresses have been applied to the grains and have resulted the formation within the grain then such grain possess wavy extinction how wavy extinction occur some parts of the grains become dark while other remain same extinction appears in the form of few in such deformed grain and such extinction is then termed as andalous or wavy or pechi extinction it is common in deformed quartz found in metamorphic rocks it is usually present within the deformed quartz within the stained quartz found in metamorphic rocks so by wavy or pechi extinction we can differentiate between the quartz of igneous origin and quartz of metamorphic origin if it possess wavy extinction that we may say that it is quartz of metamorphic origin 